Hey everybody, I've got such a fun bucket list video for you today because this is our classic Fiat 500 and I've always saw these cars as being pretty small, but just how small are they? Well, in this video, we're going to try to load the little Fiat into the bed of a new full-size truck and Andre's going to help me. I don't know if it's going to work, dude. I've <laughs> never contemplated putting a car, an actual car inside of a bed. Yeah, well, they sold over 3 million of the Fiat 500s. This okay. is not some little one-off bubble car thing. This is an actual serial production car. And I bet it's small enough to fit in the bed of Stubby. Well, this is a serial production truck. This is a 2022 Ram 1500 Classic. Uh -huh. We purchased a couple of weeks ago. It's a classic because it's, uh, it is dirty. I'm sorry, Tommy, it is dirty. Yeah. But it's a classic because they're still building the previous generation of the Ram right now. We call them stubby because it's a two-door cab, but it is a six and a half or six foot four bed. Hey, so if you want a really cool classic of your own, we are selling our 1987 BMW M535 over at tflbids.com. That's right, this exact car is up for auction. This is a super cool ride, originally sold brand new in Japan and then imported here into the States where it got a manual conversion, but it's in fantastic condition, original paint, and this thing is one of the coolest rides anywhere. Check it out over at tflbids.com. Now, what I didn't know about this truck, which you taught me, is that this bed is essentially the same as the bed of an HD Ram, right? Exactly. So they build HD Ram heavy duty trucks with a crew cab, has an identical bed. Nice. Size. Now, in order to get the Fiat on there, we're going to use these. These are called log ramps. You can Thank check you. them out there at logramps.com. They sent them to us to kind of play out with, and I couldn't think of a better way to use them than loading a car into a truck. We'll see how <laughs> well, heavy duty Well, normally they are. you would use a side by side, right? You yeah. would use this for like a side by side or a tractor. But the thing is, Andre, a typical side-by-side -side wouldn't fit into the bed of this truck. No, because they're wide. A typical tractor wouldn't fit into this truck, but the Fiat, I'm hoping, is small enough where we can squeeze it in. All right, should okay. we do it? All right, so let's measure the bed and uh, the car, right? So between the wheel wells, I'm betting it's going to be about 50 inches, right? Yep, something like that, maybe 51. All right, so let's test it. What is it? It is just over 50. Oh, make it flat. 51 inches. Okay, and then what about here? Because I'm worried about the bed entrance. Okay, that is right around five feet or 61 inches, right about. Okay, what about the car? Well, let's go see. Now, the Fiat was designed for tiny, tiny Italian cities, but it is a real four-seater. It's um, longer, about a foot longer than a smart car, but not quite as wide. So let's measure around the tires, Andre. You want to do tire so to tire? So it's kind of like hubcap to hubcap almost. Yeah. All right, so I've got a little bit of extra here for the hubcap. Yep. What is it? 50 and a half inches. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so in theory, it should fit. Well, let's see. Okay, so we are you this? gonna drive up like a um, 45 uh, degree angle? Well, that would be pretty heroic, but I'm not sure the 18 horsepower in the Fiat is gonna do that. So why don't you bring the truck down on this gravel down here? here? Okay. Yeah, we'll use this little hill by our new barn. Can you direct me? I'll direct you. We'll make okay. this thing happen. Okay. Let me back. Let we me are go forward. Making history, Andre. Okay. Maybe the very first people to load a Fiat 500 into a standard pickup truck. It's going to be a squeeze, though. Uh, Tommy, I forgot to ask you something. Yep. Uh, what about weight? Oh, yeah. The Fiat weighs right around 1,000 pounds, between 1,000 and 1,100 pounds. Well, payload on this truck is 1,550 pounds. Whoa, so we'll have plenty of payload left. Okay. Now, on some full-size trucks, like the luxury ones, you wouldn't actually have enough payload to carry the Fiat and a human. But the little stubby truck here, it's looking pretty good. All right, Andre. Bring her on down. Can you check my bed so my tailgate doesn't hit? Yeah, your tailgate it's, should it's be. Open. It's yeah, open. Yeah, it should be fine. Let's see how long the long ramps are. That'll give us a good uh, kind of metric here. Oh, these are long ramps, Andre. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, so the long ramps, I believe, have about 1,500 pounds of each, 2,000 pounds. Wow, Tommy. That's so more we, than the Fiat. <laughs> I mean, each. Each. The other question, of course, is you might be wondering, what about the tailgate? Well, that's why it's on video. All 
I think it's funny how it sounds, that, end, that little motor. It sounds, um, as Case would say, very uh, lawn care-like. Okay, let me just secure this one. Now here's another question, right? Um, we are putting the whole, well, half the load of the Fiat on the tailgate. So is the tailgate gonna hold? Yeah, I was just wondering this. That's another question. So, I but that's why it's on the video. Yeah. So here's what we do know. Like recently we tested the Gladiator truck and the Ford Maverick, and those can be hold, held up at an angle. Uh -huh. And those are 500 pound loads. Yeah. So <laughs> my strap just fell. Not a great start. All I'm right, rolling, give it a big view. I'm rolling down the window. Okay. Get the wide view, Dad. Okay, easy going. You're doing good. You're doing good. Keep going. Popped out of gear. Put at least half of it on. Parking brake on? Yes. On the truck, okay. Come up. The clutch is very... Uh, very on and off in the Fiat. A little bit driver. Uh, well, actually, come up a little bit more. Don't do driver yet. Come up. Am I on the tailgate? Almost. Okay, a little driver. A little driver. Perfect. It's, it's, it's happening. You're driving. Your yeah. driving is impeccable, by the way. Thank you, Andre. It's good, it's good. You're clearing, so go with a smidge driver. Like that? Yes. I don't know if I can. Whoa, whoa. Slow. How are we doing? Almost there. Almost there. How's the tailgate? You're, You're not like on the tailgate, collapsing? you got a foot. A little more. Stop. Am I okay. on? Okay. You're good. Can you do the wide that's, angle? That's unreal. That's unreal. High five. So Tommy, we have uh, two millimeters on the front. Uh huh. We have uh, half an inch on each side. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Can I help you at all? No, probably not. Let's see it. I was looking. Now the only question is, how do you tie it down? <laughs> well, it does have tie downs, actually. We discovered this because, Tommy, do you want to show them the rear tie down? Sure. Yeah. Sure. So the little Fiat, check it's this like out. It's like a side by side. It has tie downs. There you go. Yep, right underneath the license plate. Yes, and in the front, too. Of course, we cannot reach it. Yeah, the front's underneath the license plate as well. Yes. Now the question is, Andre. Yes. Are we officially on? You think we're off that ramp? I think we're off the ramp, right? I think the weight of the car is right here on the tailgate. Wow, look at that. Let's do both sides for proper TFL truckway. 35 inches? Yeah, we're riding on a bump stop. So, we might be close to the maximum. Should I get, get all the way in to the car? Yeah, might as well, because you're going to drive it. I'm taking my shoes off. Okay, this is very... So I don't ruin the upholstery. This is a very delicate operation. Yeah, you know what we should have done? A zero to 60 with the back in the back of the ram because this car won't do 60 miles an hour really by itself but in the ram it should i bet it would do 60. the fastest it'll go is in the back of a ram well that is true now here's the thing andre if we had a truck with an eight foot bed this would be a lot easier yeah it still maybe the bumper might be hanging off a little bit but we'd have more but the tires would be inside the bed more tire on it yep so maybe we can do it again when we have a heavy duty truck. This is the year of the heavy duty truck, right? Uh, we just found out that uh, GM is gonna have the new HD trucks, hopefully by February, Andre? Maybe Ish. March. Maybe March. We get a dually. Yes. We load with an eight foot bed. We yes. load the Fiat into the dually. Yes. And we do a, a load test or an Ike with the dually with the Fiat in the back. How about that? How about Iking it with the Fiat? You know, the dually may not even care. It, it may, may not care. It, may, it probably won't care. But it'd be fun. So are we on the bump stops and stubby? Yes. So I think part of the issue is that a lot of the Fiat's weight is in the engine, which is in the back, which is cantilevered well behind the rear axle. Yeah. Right, because the uh, the um, we're hanging off on the tailgate. So if you were really going to do this for real, you'd probably want to back the Fiat on. Is this a Hemi, Tommy? So this, Andre, this is half the size of most side-by-sides, like a Polaris. Yes. Will be a thousand cc's. This is 500. Yes. 
So that's hence, hence the name. All right, are we ready to start her up? Yes, we're ready to start her up. Starting her up. I'm going into reverse. You gotta give it the beans, I think. Are we ready? Yes. A little bit driver. How are we looking? We're, you're doing good. Dude, long ramps are the king. The king of ramps. Okay, a little bit passenger. Yes, you're on. Beautiful. Are you ready? Yes. I'm gonna get off. Hey! hey. Andre, you wanna hold the camera? Yes. Am I, can, will it hold my weight? It should hold your weight. Hop on in, Andre. Hold on. Over. I've gotta prove that this is in fact a real car. Okay, is it real? Are you in? Yes. Which way are you going? Oh, we're gonna do oh. a, a little adventure here. Okay. Ready? We're gonna go around the property. Okay. But not off-roading. We're going right? off-roading, Well, we are off-roading. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go. It's, it's pretty comfortable. Here we go onto the concrete. Hey, this is the best part. Are you ready? Yes. Watch this. Are you going to drift it? Little Fiat donuts. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we, we're leaning over. <laughs> OK. Pretty OK, good, I'm, right? I'm getting nauseous. <laughs> Roman, I'm dizzy. Here you go, Andre. It was 35 and a half on the left, 36 and a half on the right. Okay. No. Okay, let's see. I think Tommy had a good point about the engine hanging out the back. So here, 39. So two and a half inches. So, well, it was 36 average and we're at 39. Oh, wow. So that's three inches of squat. Let me double check. 38. So that's 38 and a half. So two and a half inches. So quite a lot of squat, but a lot. nice work, Andre. Okay, we got, I cannot believe that it was done. We got the Fiat loaded up into the back of Stubby. We proved you can load a 500 into the bed of even a small full-size American truck. Yep, there you have it. We'll see you guys on the next TiVo Classics episode.